Yes, sir. Uh, my name is David Houts. I live at 5767 Thompson Road. Uh, thank you for uh, at least entertaining what we had to discuss uh, here about the land use. Um, I'll be honest, I'm from North Carolina. Um, I came here in the military in 2000. I you know, met my wife here. Uh, we left in 2008, but we always said if we uh, get a chance to come back, we will, and that's where we're going to retire. So in 2015, I had the opportunity to come back. And we looked specifically for a rural area. We looked specifically for a neighborhood, for an environment that we could bring up our child the way we want to, and instill in him the values that I've been fit instilled in since I've been growing up. So this isn't the first time we've come up here uh, Thompson Road a couple years ago we had a discussion about expanding that Thompson Road area into small lots um, I think there was a good compromise there we lowered the lot size or we expanded the lot size kept it in the residential ag agriculture and it fits the neighborhood I have 15 acres on Thompson Road across from me is a huge field about 100 acres if that individual ever decides to sell and I end up with 500 houses in front of mine. Yes, they're getting those 500 houses, they're going to get what they want because they're moving out to the area you say they want to go. But am I getting what I asked for? Am I getting for what I bought in for? It impacts me and all our neighbors deeply. So we've talked about a lot of numbers up here. And once again, I'll reiterate, I'm from North Carolina, so sometimes I have to take off my shoes when I add. But the population census and this is from the census uh, site. 2010 was 1,000 or 100,000, 109,248. 2019 initial numbers, 117,406. So you're looking at a net gain of 8,158. Even with undercounts, I give you 10,000. So I don't know where 250,000 comes from in the next 40 years, but 10,000 each 10 years times four is about 40. Just say, just throw that out there. I give you, I give you numbers. Just say, go ahead. <laughs> this is from the census website. This is what I got. I understand. One of the biggest things when I was looking up a lot of this information, because I know there's been a lot of building going on, except, especially single-family homes, and that includes apartments, and I get that. And it includes everything in the entire uh, about Australia and Niles area. So in 2010, there were 36,551 single-family homes. In 2019, there's 49,490, with a net gain of 12,939 homes. Our home building is outpacing our population. So that concerns me deeply. So what do we have to gain? What do developers have to gain when they go out into new areas? It's money, and I get that. We all have we all have businesses. I don't have a problem with that. But let's talk about Nelson Hills because we talked about that a little earlier. If you talk to uh, local real estate agents, 40% of those houses are rentals now. They're rentals. So we're going to destroy a rural agricultural area for developers who have no care about what the area is. There's going to be people that move out there. And if you look at it, we've had, like Thompson Road, we've also had over there by Stone Creek, the orchard. That came up for development as well. But they changed it, and we used the residential agriculture to change it to a, something that would fit the area, not destroy the area. Something that takes away from the families that are there now. And you're right. People have the right to sell their, their property. And I get that. I totally do. But the people that are selling and are buying it, they have no care for our community. They don't. It's a money thing. And when your population does not outstrip the houses that are being built, that's a concern to me. What does my kid have? What do I get to leave to him? Because I want him to stay here. I love this area. I am a transplant from North Carolina, but George is my home. And this is where I want to stay. But in 40 years, when there's 250,000 people, 215. 215, excuse me, I'm sorry, 215,000 people, and there's 500 houses across from my lot, 
Is he going to have the same environment that he has today? Will his children have the same environment? I know there's growth, and I know there's we've got to proceed and we've got to go forward. But there's also houses here already. But there's a lot of development and a lot of money going on through developers' hands. And I'll leave it at this. I knew we were in trouble when we went to the initial planning commission. And one of the planners on the board says, you better take this deal on Bethany Road, because if not, the community uh, planning map is going to change. That was said in that meeting. The people that were there to talk about it. You know how disrespectful that is? That tells me one thing. It's only about money. And it's upsetting. So yes, there's a lot of people. And I'm not speaking for everybody. I'm speaking for my family and the friends that I know. But I consider everybody that lives out there part of my family as well. Because it means something to us. And I would ask that you uh, keep it in residential agriculture. We can compromise, but we don't want to give up. Because it means a lot to all of us. Thank you. One second. Yes, sir. Uh, in 1920, there were 26,521 people in Miles County. In 1960, it was 49,200 citizens, 85% growth. Yep. In 2000, it was 92,115 people. Compared to 49,270, that's 86% growth. Okay. And so I said, what I, what I commented was, every 40 years, you go from about 80 to 90% growth. Uh, and, and I didn't say 10, I said 40. And uh, every 10 years, you can't count that every 10 years, but every 40, that's But, but if you look at that 10 years, we're way off. Yeah. And, and there have been 10 years have been way off, but yeah. it catches up eventually. It will catch up eventually when it gets to the, about the average of where we're at. The problem I see is we're going to say, hey, it's going to be this, but we're projecting. We're, we don't know. We don't know. I mean, what other businesses are going to come in that's going to puff up our economy that much? What happens, God forbid, Moody were to ever close? I agree. I, I don't disagree. I don't look, know. I'm look just, at I'm, the, just look at the at the VSU. It's going down. I understand. And I'm just, like I said, I'm looking but at we're, the But we're, we're going to drive everything out. So what happens when the market does correct? Because it corrects every 10, 15 years. It does. What happens to that area then? Because you've already taken it away. There's no going back. No. Once it's gone, it's gone. I agree. That's all I got. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Thank you sir. Uh, next speaker. Uh